With diminishing water supplies, the economics of growing lucerne and other broadacre crops have been challenged. By adopting subsurface drip irrigation as your preferred irrigation system, you have the ability to future-proof your farming operation. Subsurface drip irrigation, pioneered by Netafim, has been successfully trialled, tested and commercially used in Australia for various crops for many years. I started off with that 12 acres first um, and for the first crop I put in, I put in sorghum and, and then that worked extremely well. I, I put it in very late but still got a very good yield off it. And then after the sorghum I've put into to loosen. The days of cheap and plentiful water are over and growers must adopt more efficient irrigation practices to remain commercially viable. The reason we decided to go for drip it's just a lot easier, we need an easier way to water. We irrigating 1,600 acres on flood, it's just we're chasing water all the time, so we needed some other easier way to do it, and it was certainly like drip for, the, for that reason. Netafim subsurface drip irrigation drippers are manufactured onto the internal wall of a polyethylene pipe. The end result is an integrated drip line. Netafim has led the development of drip lines throughout the world for the past 40 years. This includes the initial research and development of the very first drip line manufactured and used in a commercial application in agriculture. We have three properties. This one contains about 320 acres with uh, probably about 250 acres of that under drip irrigation. Our water usage is probably somewhere between 5 and 6 megalitres per hectare per year. Uh, that depends on summer rainfalls. The amount of water that we use on flood is sort of 12 to 14 megalitres per hectare on, on um, perennial pasture, where on, on the drip we're looking at you know, six, seven, eight megs, so we're, we're nearly half what we would be with, with flood irrigation. Recent case studies where lucerne has been grown using subsurface drip irrigation have shown that substantial gains in crop yield and water efficiency can be achieved. By comparison, Flood blocks of lucerne on these same farms have traditionally used up to 10 to 12 megalitres per hectare, while achieving yields of only approximately 1.2 tonnes per megalitre. The paddock that we're in here at the moment, it's about, um, about 20 acres. Each year we've cut it about seven times and um, each time we're cutting it, we're getting it around about 60 to 70 rolls at a time. Each roll is about 800 kilos wet, so there's about 50% dry matter we're getting pretty good tonnages off each cut sort of thing. Comparing it with flood irrigation, I reckon I'm getting around yeah, a good 40% increase in yield and saving around about a 30% in, in water. We've got tomato growers around us and they've been growing tomatoes on drip for years and so on, telling us that this is the way we should be watering. So we've been looking at it for a long time and then there was other guys who had done it and were really impressed with their results and they were using Netafim. So that's why we decided to go with that. To fill our dam here, we've got a water wheel that's, that's half a mile away. So it runs down a channel, fills that dam. From, that, from there, we're through a pump, which is run by a controller that controls all the, the pump and the filter. So it goes through a, a filter, um, 120 micron filter, which then runs out through, out to the paddock, through um, valve hurdles, through secondary filters, to the drip line and into the paddock. Initially when we first started to do it, we were like probably any, anything with first time users. It is intimidating, you're burying a lot, a lot of money, uh, you're turning the pump on, uh, but you don't really actually, you can see, you can't visualise anything. It isn't just through the, the time you actually see the crop growing and producing, you become more confident in actually what you're doing. And after the first few years, we become a little bit more comfortable and become more comfortable as we rotated crops around it. We can see there's not a lot we can't do with it. Well, there's nothing I think we can't do with it at this point of time. And after 20 years, we're quite comfortable with it and we would not revert back to flood irrigation. Subsurface drip irrigation has numerous benefits over other irrigation systems. These include many management tools that not only ensure agronomic and economic advantages, but also ensure the grower's time is used as efficiently as possible. By having drip irrigation, it's definitely changed the way of changed the way of life here for with the irrigation side of things. The other thing with drip is that the ease of of adding the fertiliser to us, it's just we just hook this fertiliser up here, 
calculate it all through the pump, it automatically gets added right to the root zone of the plant. There's no wastage there. It's easy to calculate. It makes it heaps easier than what we were the other way. One of the biggest advantages with drip irrigation is it's not the actual water you're saving, it's increasing productivity. Future-proof your farm by irrigating in the most efficient and cost-effective manner with subsurface drip irrigation by Netafim.